No, I am wearing a microphone, but frankly, I wouldn't need one. There is an elephant in the room. What, you can't smell the peanuts on his breath? There is an elephant in the room. There is a big question that no one here is asking, and it is one that is absolutely critical. We are encouraged to ask questions, to share all of our information, to seek treatment options, to seek answers from the best doctors, from our best co-patients, from all of the possible sources. But we're not asking the biggest question. How much is that? Sing it with me. How much is that? Why are we not asking that question? This is so important. If we are really going to make a difference, and I'm not an economist, I haven't played one on TV, and no, I didn't stay in a Holiday Inn last night, I stayed with y'all over at the Marriott. But I'm not an economist, but there are some things that I do know, boy, this is the weirdest light, I know plenty about markets and consumer behavior, and so do each and every one of you, because have any of you ever bought anything in your life? Have you ever price shopped? Hello, you're part of the crew. We need to start looking for price transparency in healthcare. One of our number, a member of SPM, is doing a site called clearhealthcost.com. It's only got New York so far, but I keep begging for it to open it up. We need to have some disruptive innovation in healthcare driven by patients. And here's a really disruptively innovative idea. Wait for it, folks. Oh crap, come on. How much is that? Come on, how much is that? When you go to get your physical, when you go to get your pap smear, when you go to your endocrinologist, how much is that? Because price, the price transparency affects market behavior and therefore prices. Now, I'm not an economist, but I'm no dummy. If people know what things cost, they can start shopping for price and for quality. Because how do you measure value without knowing both? Guess what the annual healthcare spend is in the United States, folks? That's with a T. 2.3 trillion with a T. That's a couple bucks. I think that if it was single dollar bills, we could get to the moon and back a couple times. And that's what economists call a hockey stick price curve. Now that we, we are in control, but we don't know it. We have to wake up and we have to start thinking in terms of price, not just quality. The only way to really bend the cost curve, and oh my God, there's such weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth and rending of garments and spitting going on on Capitol Hill about bending the price curve, there's a very simple way to do it. And guess what that is? Okay, I bet you know, but wait till the slide change just to humor me. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my God, I really hope this changes soon. Sing it with me, kids. How much is that? Yay, okay. I got to work on the timings on this thing a little bit. But no, seriously though, if we start asking what things cost, first of all, people are going to tell you, doctors are going to tell you, I have no idea. But the more we ask, the more they're going to realize they've got to answer that question. And even people with chronic conditions, in fact, especially for people with chronic conditions, this is a fixed cost. How on earth can you prepare a budget without knowing what your fixed costs are and building them into your planning? Now, granted, you can't plan for a broken leg of a ruptured appendix, but you can plan if you have the chronic. My metaphor for the healthcare system is it's a car wash. When you go through, you want to be inside that car, you do not wish to be strapped to the hood. And if you don't ask questions, you get strapped to the hood. That doesn't look like a nice place to be. So what are you going to do now? You're going to ask, how much is that? Because that is the only way for us to finally close the deal and take the power and act as full equals in the healthcare system by saying, how much is that? Because you need to know so that you can keep your wallet intact and also that the system will be sustainable. Because right now doctors are going out of business because they're frustrated because their remuneration's going down where their patient lo load is going up. Patients are running out of money. I'm, I don't have insurance, so I need to always ask, how much is that? Yes. Now, there are a lot of other ideas that I have about healthcare. 
Um, if you want to find out what they are, you can find me on MightyCasey.com and CancerForChristmas.com. And if you really want to start a revolution, ask me about how we can really retool the health insurance marketplace. Thank you and good night. <laughs>